एक्सरसाइज क्लास सेवन सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स मेजरमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट राइट एंसर्स टू द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन युअर ओन वर्ड्स ए वाई इज द वेट ऑफ द सेम ऑब्जेक्ट डिफरंट ऑन डिफरंट प्लैनेट्स एंसर द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स दैट एक्ट्स ऑन मास इज कॉल इट्स वेट वेन एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द अर्थ इज पुल बाय द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इट गेट्स एट्रेक्टेड टू द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ दिस इज कॉल इट्स वेट ऑन द अर्थ बट ऑन डिफरंट प्लैनेट्स द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स मे बी ऑफ डिफरंट मैग्नेट्यूड दियर फोर द वेट ऑफ द सेम ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी डिफरंट ऑन डिफरंट प्लैनेट्स B. What precautions will you take to make accurate measurements in day-to-day -day affairs? Answer. Proper instruments should be used while taking any measurement. These instruments should be used by proper and scientific procedure. We must check that the things which we buy have been weighed properly by standardized weights and balance. the shopkeeper and the hawkers use balances we must confirm that these balances carry the stamp of standardization the balance should be stable with its pointer in upright position the underside of the balance should be checked for any tampering done the weight used should be proper metals c what is the difference between mass and weight answer first mass the amount of matter present in the substance is called mass now we will see what is meant by weight the gravitational force that acts on this mass is called its weight mass is a scalar quantity weight is a vector quantity mass remains the same everywhere weight may differ in different places and in different conditions question second who is my companion group a first velocity second area third volume fourth mass fifth density now group b a liter b kilogram c meter per second d kilogram per cubic meter and e is square meter right answers velocity meter per second area square meter volume liter mass kilogram density kilogram per cubic meter question third explain giving examples a scalar quantity scalar quantity is completely expressed by its magnitude alone for example length breadth area mass temperature density time work etc in scalar quantity only magnitude that means a value with a unit is used to express it vector quantity vector quantity is expressed completely only when magnitude and direction are both given for example first one the displacement of 20 kilometers to the north and second displacement of 20 kilometers to the east is different from each other here the distance is same but the direction of the displacement is different from each other okay next second example is the aeroplane traveling at the speed of 500 km per hour 
to the north and another aeroplane travelling 500 km per hour to the east are different from each other here speed is the same but in the direction of velocity is different question 4 explain giving examples that errors that occur while making measurements answer the major causes of errors in the measurement are as follows first one not using the appropriate device at the time of measurement the hawkers and the shopkeepers may not use standardized weights at the time of business they may use stone pieces or some other matter this results in inaccuracy of measurements the balance may not be working properly sometimes while buying petrol or diesel the indicators on the machine may not work properly second not using the device properly in daily life we come across many equipments of measurements such as weighing balance spring balance ruler measuring tapes different weights of specific value measuring vessels for mill etc while weighing on balance the jerk given causes pointer to fluctuate and gives improper reading while measuring the cloth from the bundle the shopkeeper may not measure the cloth with accuracy customer should pay keen attention to the measurements while buying things question 5 give reasons first it is not proper to measure quantities by using body parts as units answer the measurement of body parts for every person will be different there is no standardization of any kind therefore it is not proper to measure quantities by using body parts b it is necessary to get the weights and measures standardized at regular intervals answer due to constant use the weights and the weighing apparatus may lose their standardization using such devices may result into malpractice therefore it is necessary to get the weights and measures standardized at regular intervals question 6 explain the need for accurate measurement and the devices to be used for that answer the need for accurate measurement is dependent on the following factors first one the measurement of anything should be absolutely accurate in our daily life if measurements are not done properly it may have long lasting bad effects second measurement of precious substances is extremely important also the substances used in very small quantities have to be measured meticulously and accurately for example precious metals of gold and silver should be accurately measured third one proper instruments are now available due to advancement in science and technology devices that measure very small magnitude of quantities like distance mass time and temperature are now available these devices and instruments should be used with precision fourth one digital thermometers are not used for the measurement of body temperature accurately fifth one the sport competitions like olympics need extremely accurate clocks for measuring distance and time other questions from textbook observe and discuss textbook page number 41 how are the various articles and materials shown in the picture measured answer brinjals pumpkin onions potatoes french beans and many similar vegetables are weighed in gram and kilograms we call it weight in our day to day colloquial language but 
actually its mass is measured the spool of thread has thread which is measured in meters the bunch of leafy green vegetables are measured in numbers milk in the glass is measured in liters there is a diamond in a gold ring the purity of gold is measured in carats 24 carats means 100% pure gold in case of diamond carat is measured of the mass of diamond 1 carat diamond is equal to 0.20 g that means 0.20 g or 200 mg the cloth is measured in meters use your brain power textbook page number 42 why would the weight of an object be maximum at the poles and minimum at the equator answer the earth is not a completely spherical planet there is a slight depression on both the polar regions the equator on the other hand is slightly bulging therefore the equatorial radius is little more than the polar radius the gravitational acceleration at the center of the earth is zero the gravitational force at the equator is greater than that of at the poles therefore here weight is zero on the other hand the objects weigh more on the poles therefore weight of an object be maximum at the poles and minimum at the equator second Why is the weight of an object at a high altitude less than its weight at the sea level? Answer: The weight will be less at the place where the gravitational force is less. As the object rises to higher altitude, it is moving away from the center of the earth. The gravitational force at the higher altitude will be lesser as compared to that of the sea level. Therefore, weight of an object at a high altitude less than its weight at the sea level. Find out textbook page number forty-three. First, what is an atomic clock? Where is it kept? Answer: Atomic clock is a device that works with utmost accuracy. Its work is dependent on the vibrations of atoms and molecules. The functioning is due to molecular system of calcium or ammonia. The atomic clock in Mumbai is in National Physical Laboratory in New Delhi. Second, how is the velocity of light used for determining the standard meter? Answer: The light ray passes through a vacuum at the velocity of one per Twenty nine crore ninety seven lakh ninety two thousand four hundred and fifty eight seconds. This distance is called one meter. In other words, the light ray travels twenty nine crore ninety seven lakh ninety two thousand four hundred and fifty eight meters in one second. To standardize a meter in this way, velocity of light is used. 